We're going to get you going today on Google+. Plus. When you're logged into Gmail, if you look at the black bar at the top, you'll notice that it says plus you if your Google+, Plus has been turned on. Later on, that'll be plus in your name. Click on that in order to start to set up your profile. First, you have to set up your profile within Google+. Plus. It takes a look at your account and fills in the information for you, but you can change any of this information. If your first name that is showed is not the name that people call you, you might want to change that. Select your gender, select your birth date. There's some changes in Picasa Web that happen when you turn on Google+. Plus. So you have to acknowledge that. You might also want to untick this other box about Google using your account information. Scroll to the bottom and click Upgrade. Google Plus is a social network, and in step two, you start to add the people that you know, and you add them to what are called circles. When you hover over the Add button, a, po a list pops up of the predefined circles that they already have created for you. You can also create as many circles as you want. Add new ones. So I'm going to add Jay Atwood to the teacher circle. It'll give you a little bit of information here, and you can continue to add people as you want, but you notice that when somebody's added to your circle, it turns green and it has the, the name. I could also add this person to another one and it shows me that they're in two circles. Hover, them over, hover over them again and you can see what circles they're in. If that's all you want, just click continue. You can always add people later. You can also make connections with other people based around common interests and it gives you some examples here. We're going to continue past this for now. It says, yeah, you're going to be lonely, but let's continue anyway. Now here's where you start to make an identity for yourself. We really recommend that everybody puts a photo or an avatar or an icon of some sort so that they can people can tell who they are. In this case, I'm going to upload an image. I'm going to select a one from my computer on my desktop. I went up. Okay, you can make some adjustments to your avatar and set that as your profile pic. Now people will be able to tell who I am based on my photo. You should give a little bit of information about where you work and you notice as you start typing it will pop up automatically. You can also do the same thing for students. This helps people connect a little bit later. Year is their year of graduation. Put in the country that you live in and click finish. Now you're basically ready to go. You've got set up on Google+. Before you get going too far into Google+, you should check your settings. Hover over the home link and scroll down to settings. And the most important one here are notifications. Because by default, it will notify you every time something happens. You'll receive an email. So you may want to uncheck a bunch of these if, there are, if you want to limit the number of emails that you get. Remember that up at the top you have your little notifications icon here and that will always let you know if you've uh, if somebody's done something that you should be aware of. So you can just go ahead and uncheck, uncheck all of these in order to save your inbox from being, feeling like it's being spammed. Okay, there are some other settings down at the bottom that you might want to take a look at. Right, and it saves automatically. When you're done, you can go back to Google+.